Hi my dear friends welcome to my channel biology for all today i'm going to discuss the ninth part of previous year question for the post year scientific of biology form 6 science laboratory let's start okay here is your question which of the molecular event is not occurring as a result of capacitation of sperm option a increased sperm metabolism and motility option b increase in cyclic amp production option c increase in membrane potential of sperm option d decrease in cholesterol level okay what i mean by sperm capacitation or capacitation of sperm okay in order to penetrate and fertilize an egg the sperm should undergo certain physiological and biochemical changes okay and these physiological and biochemical changes undergone by spermatozoa in order to have the ability to penetrate and fertilize an egg is called as sperm capacitation or capacitation of sperm okay or simply we can define the sperm capacitation as functional maturation of spermatozoa okay when the spermatozoa get functionally maturated then only it is able to penetrate and fertilize an egg okay that is called as sperm capacitation okay let us understand the major molecular events occur during the capacitation of sperm first one is a destabilization or structural disintegration of acrosomal sperm head membrane okay which help the sperm to penetrate the outer layer of the egg next one is a chemical change that occur in the tail region of the sperm as a result uh, it the sperm become more and more activated okay at that time we can see the more movement of hyper movement of the sperm okay then uh, how it happens okay the these uh, changes are facilitated by the removal of certain sterols okay you know that cholesterol is a derived lipid coming into the category sterol whenever these uh, uh, sterol namely cholesterol and certain glycoprotein are removed from the membrane as a result the increased membrane permeability can be seen remember increased membrane permeability means what uh what reduction in membrane potential not increase in membrane potential okay whenever there is increased permeability you can see that reduction in membrane potential that is the membrane potential is negative not positive remember okay as a result of when um, this membrane become more and more uh, permeable as a result more amount of calcium in flux can be seen more amount of calcium enter into the sperm cell okay as a result of increased influx of calcium 2 plus ion which will activated what the secondary messenger namely cyclic amp you know that cyclic amp is a secondary messenger okay which will ultimately result the hyperactivation sperm so in general we can say that during capacitation of sperm increased sperm metabolism and motility can be seen increase in cyclic amp production can be seen and decrease in the cholesterol level steroids such as cholesterol become reduced in order to increase the uh, what increase the permeability of the membrane whenever the permeability of the membrane become increase decrease in mem membrane potential of sperm can be seen okay not increase in membrane potential of sperm right okay now i think you people got the correct answer just now isn't it the correct answer is what option c increase in membrane potential of sperm okay the membrane potential of sperm become reduced during capacitation of sperm that's why that membrane of sperm is exhibiting more permeability okay so uh, the event which is not occur during the capacitation of sperm is the option c increase in membrane potential of sperm what is the correct event taking place during that time that is decrease in membrane potential of sperm so the correct answer for this question is option c increase in membrane potential of sperm okay 
when your csir uh, net examination is concerned the prevention of polyspermy in sea urchin is very very important okay so you have to study that portion also if you are preparing for the csir you just in it license okay okay next question is the basic cause of senile dementia as well as alzheimer's disease is option a accumulation of acetylcholine mimics b accumulation of adrenaline mimics c degeneration of cholinergic nerve terminals and the last option is degeneration of adrenergic nerve terminals okay you know that both alzheimer's disease and dementia are characterized by severe memory loss okay let us understand the actual reasons of these two diseases okay that is uh, two neurotransmitters play an important role in alzheimer's as well as dementia and the neurotransmitters are acetylcholine and glutamate you know that glutamate or glutamic acid is an acidic amino acid okay acetylcholine activates muscles and helps with arousal short term memory and learning okay these acetylcholine um, activate a certain muscles um, related to uh, arousal then it enhances short term memory then learning ability like that okay individuals with alzheimer's disease have low level of acetylcholine very important point okay those individual having this alzheimer's disease as well as dementia are provided with very low level of acetylcholine okay some research suggests that the plaques may be one of the reason for low level of acetylcholine because they increase the activity of chemical called acetylcholine esterase which is involved in the breaking down of acetylcholine okay some um, recent research suggests that certain plaques which is formed will activate the acetylcholine esterase enzyme this acetylcholine esterase enzyme is mainly concerned with the breaking down of acetylcholine thereby it, it will cause considerable reduction in the acetylcholine concentration isn't it too much acetylcholine esterase has the overall effect of de decreasing acetylcholine level isn't it which contributes to the catastrophic symptoms of alzheimer's disease as well as dementia okay when the cell contain more amount of acetylcholine esterase and same it will degrade more amount of acetylcholine that will result the disease named the alzheimer's disease as well as dementia okay and the degeneration of cholinergic degeneration of cholinergic nerve terminals or nerve endings also causes decrease in the level of acetylcholine okay you know that these cholinergic nerve terminals are mainly concerned with the production of what acetylcholine they passes nerve impulses uh, through the agency of acetylcholine when there is destruction or considerable damage to these cholinergic nerve terminals a reduction considerable reduction in the acetylcholine cholin can be seen uh, which will ultimately leads to a disease called alzheimer's disease or a disease called dementia okay okay let us look at the options again uh, now you people got the answer the correct answer for this question is what the option c degeneration of cholinergic nerve terminals okay The next question is which of the following is not an amino acid derivative option a adrenaline option b calcitonin option c nor epinephrine option d thyroxine if a hormone is an amino acid derivative or derived from an amino acid its chemical name will end in ine it is a trick to find out amino acid derived hormone okay so you have to remember this statement only those hormone derived from amino acid will have a suffix ine not simply in okay okay look at the option the hormone adrenaline and the name epinephrine isn't it then norepinephrine and the name noradrenaline and thyroxine all these hormones are derived from amino acid some modification may takes place in this uh, in the particular amino acid and by that modification these hormones are produced isn't it normally adrenaline or epinephrine norepinephrine or noradrenaline 
and thyroxines are produced from an aromatic amino acid namely tyrosine t y r o s i n e tyrosine okay tyrosine is an aromatic amino acid with hydroxide or oh group okay but when we are uh, analyzing the calcitonin we can see that calcitonin is a peptide hormone made up of uh, uh, 32 amino acid in calcitonin amino acid uh, never undergo any modification amino acid get uh, arranged together to form this calcitonin hormone so remember even though the calcitonins are made up of 32 amino acid but they are not derived from amino acid these 32 amino acid help together to form a polypeptide which is acting as a hormone called as calcitonin but in the case of adrenaline or epinephrine and thyroxine they are derived from amino acid namely tyrosine okay i think now you got the correct answer that is uh, the uh, um, the hormone which is not an amino acid derivative is the option b calcitonin okay i also discussed a trick to find out this one that is the amino acid der derived hormone will have a suffix what i n e okay in adrenaline uh, thyroxine and or epinephrine you can see i n e but in the case of calcitonin you can see only i n okay so the correct answer is option b the next question is the law which states that a condition which is found to be x chromosome linked in one mammal can be expected to be x chromosome linked in other mammals also is a owner's law b muller law c calvin's law and the last option is bridge's law let us understand owner's law in brief owner's law was proposed by a japanese american biologist susumu ono this law states that the gene content of the mammalian species has been conserved over species not only in the dna content but also in the genes themselves okay according to ono uh, the dna content as well as the gene content conserved from species to species okay that is nearly all mammalian species have conserved the x chromosome from their primordial x chromosome of a common ancestor okay that is the x chromosome as well as genes present in the x chromosome found in all mammal is came from a common ancestor okay that is that particular x chromosome and its associated genes are highly conserved okay and that law is known as ono's law so the correct answer for this question is option a ono's law okay the remaining three laws are not related to biology so i am not discussing those laws okay thanks for watching my video the remaining question discussion will be uploaded at the earliest okay those who want to watch the earlier discussion i will mention the link within the description box okay those who want to really study the 20 proteogenic amino acid within five minutes using certain tips and tricks i will mention uh, its link also within the description box thank you if you people get benefited with my video please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and don't forget to press that bell icon then you people will be notified with each and every video when i upload it okay thank you keep in touch and stay safe